Hey, welcome back everyone to another great episode of Sell Those Flipping Cars. I'm Zachary, and in today's episode, we find out how to check our transmission fluid level in our 2014 town and country. Stay tuned. Welcome back everyone. I'm Zachary and thank you so much for checking out my channel, Sell Those Flipping Cars. In today's episode, we have the 2014 Town & Country Chrysler that, uh, you know what, I have became pretty partial uh, to this van. Uh, at first I was like, hell no, not finding myself in a minivan, absolutely not. And then I sat in the leather seats and I was like, okay, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want to take for a test drive. All right. <laughs> Besides that, so hopefully there's some other guys out there that have the same feelings as me. My wife really wanted the van. And uh, you know what? I like it. So, 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. <clears throat> You're trying to find the transmission fluid uh, dipstick. Okay. Um, a lot of auto manufacturers lately have gone to a maintenance-free, quote-unquote, uh, transmission. Okay, that means that it does not come with a transmission dipstick. Let's take a look. One second. If you look in here, right there. You see that right there? That little cap? The one I'm pointing at, Ugh. don't let my finger get in the way guys, I'm just pointing right there guys. You see it? Now if we go ahead and pull that out, remember lefty loosey, righty tighty, you're gonna see for dealer only here. Let me go ahead and focus right on that. For dealer use only, okay? I absolutely love this. Let me go ahead and put that back real quick. That is your transmission fluid dipstick location. Okay. Oh, had to adjust the camera there for a second. So that's your transmission fluid dipstick location. As you see, it does not come with a dipstick. Okay. That's because Chrysler and other auto manufacturers, even though they state that it's a maintenance-free transmission. If you look in the owner's manual under maintenance interval, you're gonna see on that little spreadsheet that your transmission fluid and transmission filter are supposed to be changed every 60,000 miles. That doesn't sound maintenance-free to me. That sounds like another way to get you into the dealership or a authorized dealer to charge you buku bucks uh, to change your transmission fluid. Okay? That's no bueno. For everyone that doesn't speak Spanish, it's no good. Okay? I don't want to spend more money than I have to. That's why this is a DIY auto repair channel. Because I'd rather get dirty myself than... Uh, pay someone else to change my transmission fluid. So, down below, you are going to find a link to Amazon for a dipstick for the 2014 Chrysler Town & Country. Yes, it does fit other Mopar vehicles as well, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's a Chrysler, it's not Mopar. Yeah, Mopar owns Chrysler, guys, or they did, okay? Which means that their parts come from Mopar, okay? So, that is a testing dipstick only. What you're gonna do is you're gonna remove the plug that I showed you, you're gonna put the dipstick in, you're going to start the vehicle, okay? Move the vehicle from park to neutral. Do not rev it up, do not go high idle. You don't need to do anything like that, okay? Just move it to neutral while it's running, pull the dipstick, make sure the dipstick is reading in between the hash marks. You got a high, you got a low, okay? You got hot, you got cold, okay? You got the hash marks in between. That's where you're supposed to be reading. Now with these dipsticks, because it's a maintenance-free transmission, you need to pull that dipstick back out. It is for testing purposes only. You are not supposed to be driving with it, 
okay? It is not gonna do anything. It's not gonna hold your transmission fluid back. It is gonna pour out like old faithful, okay? Don't do that to you. Don't do it to your vehicle, okay? So test with the dipstick, pull it out, insert your for dealer use only plug back on there, righty tighty, okay? You'll, it, uh, it only turns like a quarter of a turn, so it's not like you'd be twisting for days, okay? I know that location seemed like a pretty hard spot to get your arm in. It's not too bad. Is it hard to aim a, a camera while doing it? Absolutely. <laughs> so, all right guys. <laughs> so that's your uh, transmission fluid uh, dipstick location. Again, down below you, you'll be able to find a link to the uh, dipstick for your testing purposes. Remember that every 60,000 miles, you're supposed to be changing your transmission fluid and filter. And guess what? <sighs> My town and country is coming due. So that means that I will be having to change the transmission fluid and filter. And of course, I'll be recording it for you guys. That way we can go through it together and make sure everything's done properly and save ourselves <laughs> quite a bit of money and I'm talking a few hundred dollars okay it's not cheap guys you now uh, these dealerships are going to make sure that they charge quite a bit of money to drain your transmission and replace the filter on top of any sales tactic that they they try to uh, do while you're at the dealership you know, uh, oh, you need an oil change, your bulbs don't have blinker fluid and all that stuff. It's disgusting, okay? From one mechanic to another, it's terrible, you know? But that's a story for another day. Guys, you found where your transmission fluid dipstick is. If you like this video and it, found to be beneficial to you in you finding your oil filter dipstick you know uh in checking your uh transmission fluid make sure you smash that like button hit that subscribe button as well that way you get all those future videos i make uh over all the vehicles that i work on so thank you again guys again this is sell those flipping cars and i'm zachary Thank you for checking out the video and if you have any questions please feel free to leave them below in the comment section i love answering any questions that uh that my listeners and and you guys have is viewing the videos so thank you again guys it is truly my pleasure to make these videos for you guys and it's it's a lot of fun so all right thanks again guys and make sure you hit that subscribe button i'll see you guys next time make sure you check out the next video zachary with sell those flipping cars have a great one guys until next time keep up the hustle take care